Cowboys for 31 points in the overtime win at Burton Coliseum. UNO in the home whites with blue numbers. McNeese in the road yellows. McNeese stayed across the front in white. You go Chuku and Puo, jump it up, and the tap is won by the Privateers. Moving left to right to start things off from our broadcast location. Going down low to Mike Zeno trying to post up. Passes back out. Now Thibodeau drives to the bucket left of the lane and misses as well out of control. Rebound Hugo Chuku. Steven Hugo Chuku, the senior forward, stops at the foul line. Wanted to pass it, nobody available. Richard Laku, a surprise starter, feeding Quaterius Wilson in the paint. Pump fake, goes to the hole, double team, and loses control of it. Ball on the floor, out of bounds. Last touch by McNeese. McCurr Puo on the back side, helping to bail out Thibodeau. They trapped without fouling down low and created the turnover. Opening moments at the lakefront. Both teams looking for their first points in the first minute. Trapping pressure, no problem for Lamont Burzat and Bryson Robinson. Now top of the key, Thibodeau holding it. Gives it up right elbow to Puo. Puo looking down low, Zeno unavailable. Left elbow with it is Robinson. Back to Zeno, same spot he was in a moment ago, feeding middle of the lane to Thibodeau. Turns and tries to shoot, loses control of it because he was fouled. And Thibodeau will go to the line to shoot a pair. Good to see the Privateers getting to the foul line. As Harvey called for his first foul, James Harvey. One of the better shooters in the conference. As Thibodeau's first free throw is put up. And short, he'll have one more. Trying to break the seal on this ball game. Foul shot is up and good. UNO leading one zip. Thibodeau, a good free throw shooter at around 70%. Love to see him post up and get there more than he has recently. Greenwood at the point. Jaron Greenwood, who scored 22 in the first matchup between these teams. Second leading score. Now Wilson passes off to Laku. Catch, shoot, three. Nothing but net for the lanky 6'8 forward. Certainly a competent shot there from a guy, redshirt sophomore out of Dallas, who doesn't shoot it very often. He's playing bigger to match the privateers, going with just two guards to start. That helped. Now Puo gets room to shoot over Hugo Chuku and knocks down a mid-range jumper. Mack confident with the space to trust his stroke. First field goal for UNO, we're tied at three. Baku trying to feed Hugo Chuku, short corner right. Now coming across the lane on the bounce, stopping, lowering his shoulder, no whistle, finishing softly with the left hand over Pro. Hugo Chuku on the board. McNeese back up 5-3. Now Thibodeau pull up jumper in transition off back iron. Ball on the floor picked up by McNeese and Wilson. A virtual double-double machine. Hugo Chuku leaves his feet, finds Laku who's blocked, and boy, that looked like a lot of basketball. I don't know where the foul was with the body, but Thibodeau called for the personal. Weird. Actually, they say Poe came over and fouled him, which is even more mysterious. Must have been Poe because Thibodeau got all ball. But Laku showing why his coach Dave Simmons in his 12th year with McNeese should be confident to start him, makes his first free throw. Already looking for his fifth point. Guy who averages 2.2 a game misses the second foul shot. Just his ninth and tenth foul shots of the year. He's now 7 of 10. 6-3 McNeese, 17-45 first half. Robinson between the rings, passes off. Quo, perimeter right. Now outside the left elbow, Thibodeau feeding Zeno down low. Pump fake, reverse layup is blocked. Looked like Harvey got a hand on it. Cowboys come up with it. Outlet from Greenwood to Laku. Laku cut off by Thibodeau, lost the dribble, but recovers. Now top of the key line drive three is good by Hugo Chuku. No close out there. And Hugo Chuku, confident, and they've hit a couple of catch-shoot threes to go up 9-3 early. Privateers are going to continue to try to work it inside, though. I'm sure Thibodeau slams the ball after he catches it. Give and go, pass, feed, quo, layup. That's as good as it gets, two big men working together. Puo moving off the ball to score the bucket. Four points for McCour. You know, down four, though. Now a pick of the pocket of Wilson and a layup on the other end is missed, but the follow jam good by Thibodeau. Burzat did everything right, 
They come up with the steal and miss the chippy, but Thibodeau ran the floor and was rewarded. Now a pull-up three, no good. Greenwood short. Rebound Robinson. Outlet to Thibodeau, one-on-one -on -one against Wilson. Tried to lob it, caught by Puo. Now Thibodeau tries to save it back. As Puo, I don't know if he was trying to pass it back or just lost control of it. Tib caught down deep, not able to save it. Maybe trying to be too fancy there. Mack, middle of the lane. Should have shot the basketball. 9-7 McNeese, 16-22 encounter. Greenwood stripped off the screen by Burzot. Outlet on the recovery by Zeno. This time the layup, good by the little man. First bucket for Burzot coming off 11 points at Southeastern, and we're tied at nine. Six straight points for UNO. Greenwood now near side lock, who catch shoot three again, this time a brick. That's more like it. Another board for Robinson, brings it up himself in traffic, pulls it up to the trailer, Thibodeau to the bucket, layup, good with the left hand, left of the lane. Robinson with the assist, that smart play in transition, secondary break. 8-0 run, Privateers, 11-9 lead to UNO. 15-38 and counting first half. Now off the screen, Harvey from way downtown banks in a three. So they've hit a couple of head-scratching threes. Laku drains one. And Harvey, a 39% three-point shooter, absolutely lucky from about 25 feet. And McNeese is lucky like that. They can certainly stay in a game and steal one. They're up 12 to 11. Now Thibodeau left elbow, one bounce dribble, kick out, three ball, Furzot short, but a rebound inside. Looked like Poe was going to come up with it, but Wilson knocked it away from behind. Hugo Chuku in his hands, brings it up, and passes back to Greenwood, who usually runs the show for these guys. And surprisingly, their leading scorer, Caleb Ledoux, hasn't seen action yet over five minutes into this game. Wilson across the lane, shot affected and knocked off the rim by Plo. Good block by Thibodeau. Save baseline. Robinson to Thibodeau. Behind the back at half court. Thibodeau pulls up top of the arc to the trailer. Scoop layup. Good. McCurr Plo. Again, it's Thibodeau to Plo. And the two seniors connecting very nicely. 13 to 12 UNO. Good offense early from the Privateers. And McNeese scoring the ball. I wouldn't say good offense. As Laku's three try near corners blocked by Zeno. Out of bounds. Good closeout that time on a shooter for UNO. Another senior making a play as we reach the first media timeout. 14 to 12 over McNeese with over 50 annual amateur athletic events. The Allstate Sugar Bowl's commitment to sports, tourism, and community development is bigger and better than ever. Log on today at allstatesugarbowl.org. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at Sugar Bowl NOLA. In the ball game is Jacob Ledoux. Now falling down from about 28 feet, Harvey hits a three. These guys are four of seven from three-point range, and they're not good shots, but they've gone in, and McNeese is up 15 to three. On the floor for UNO, Matthew Giles, the senior, on senior day, along with Scott Plaisance, who sets the screen for Troy Green, another freshman, passing to a fellow freshman for a mid-range jumper in the corner, no good. Giles saves the rebound, though, and dribbles it out on the miss by Rosser. Another chance for UNO on this end. Green wanting a screen from Plaisance. Pulls up for about a 17-footer. That's also short. The rebound, Wilson. Ledoux the other way. Hit pass. Hugo Chuku behind him. Draws the contact. Banks it in in the lane. And he's fouled. McNeese doesn't waste any time, and they've had a lot of shots just go in early on. That's all you can say about it. 6 of 11. Overall now, as Plaisance called for the foul. The junior Plaisance still having trouble with fouls right off the bench. Free throw good, Hugo Chuku. They're up 18 to 13. Front court with it, Rosser, far sideline. Dribbles middle of the floor, gives it up to Giles, perimeter right. Screen from Deontay Champion, the junior. Now Rosser with it again, perimeter left. Goes around the screen from Plaisance, gives it up around the arc. Giles with it near corner. Ten on the shot clock. Now Troy Green needs to do something off the dribble. Draws the D, gives it up to Rosser. Rosser floater in the lane. Off back iron. Tap rebound goes into the hands of Wilson. His third board. Outlet to Jacob Ledoux. Gives it up to Hugo Chuku. Short corner. Past the pair of privateers, but Plaisance recovers to block the shot. Hugo Chuku recovers. Passes out near half court. Harvey to Ledoux at the foul line. Backs out on the dribble. And they'll reset with 10 on the shot clock. 
The two-man game on this side. Ledoux from the parking lot barely grazes iron, but Wilson recovers. Misses the layup as Plaisance was right there to make it difficult on him. Got the board, did the privateers. Kick into the corner by Green to Giles. Nothing there. The privateers pull it out. Rosser. And now Green with it. Dribbling between the rings. Looks like a 2-3 zone from the Cowboys here. Right side, Rosser. UNO doesn't have much shooting on the floor. Except Giles for three. Doesn't go for him, but a rebound short corner left. Plaisance then shoots an air ball. Right hand. Three on two, Cowboys the other way, and they settle for a three that Harvey misses. But Wilson, he knows how to clear the glass. Comes up with the board. Now gets it back from Greenwood. Faces up against Plaisance. Goes by him. Triple team. Cross-court pass hung up there too long, but Harvey off the dribble will try to shoot one from 17, won't go. Tapped by Wilson, but into the hands of Green. Now Green loses it in the backcourt. Out of control, and able, I think, to create a held ball with one on. That's it for the reserves, fortunately, as the five starters will come back in. No offense to those guys, but not able to come up with offense. UNO just 6 of 17 early on. McNeese is 6 of 16, but they've hit four three-pointers. And their nine tries from outside. Privateers 0 for 2. That accounts for this 18-13 Cowboys lead. And they have the basketball. Greenwood outside with us. We're back to action. Pull up mid-range jumper. Good. Not deterred at all by Lamont Burzak. Greenwood's first bucket. Biggest McNeese lead at 7. 11 and a half minute mark. Thibodeau, right elbow, down low, finds Zeno as a shot block, but the foul is called, and I believe Wilson got just enough of the wrist there. Should have been on Wilson, but it's on, of course, Hugo Chuku. I say, of course. Saturdays in the Southland, right? David Kusick, Sheldon Tate, and Kevin McGill are three officials for this one, as Zeno will look for a pair at the line. The senior from Beaumont misses back iron. Mike, 66% on the year coming in. And that's what you want to see him do, attack the rim, draw fouls. He's a better free throw shooter than a shooter, period. Second foul shot, nothing but net. 20 to 14, McNeese with it. Now Zeno gets on the board. Front court with a Greenwood near corner Laku. Looking for Wilson down low. Wilson gives it up in the lane to Hugo Chuku, who can't shoot. Kick out to Ledoux for three. Good ball movement. Privateers close in on the paint. I think Mark Sussner might have been asking for a three-second call that didn't come. But now McNeese has hit five three-pointers, and they're up nine inside the 11-minute mark. Cross-court pass into the hands of Burzak. Gets it back from Zeno for three. Good. Lamont Burzak from the right wing. Azino got it back to him fast and gave Lamont enough time to line it up and knock it down. Finally, the Privateers hit a long one. Draw back within six. You'd think McNeese will pull off at some point. We'll see. Laku trying to drive, pulls up at the right elbow, shoots a brick, rebound, blows, active defensively again. Sort of affected that off the ball. Just with his movement coming to the spot. Now Thibodeau open, perimeter left three, rims out on him, rebound Wilson. That's what Wilson does. He cleans up the boards. Now has six already. Only player in the Southland averaging over 10 per game. Now Greenwood draws a reach-in foul just inside the top of the arc on Burzak. Lamont got to the spot. Got his hands involved. Called for his first personal. Third UNO team foul. Hugo Chuku checks out. And Labarius Hill... Checks in. Hill, a 6'8 senior. Greenwood takes the inbounds pass far side at half court. Halfway mark of this first half, visiting Cowboys up 23-17. Screen and roll for Ledoux, cut off top of the key. Goes far side to Laku. Laku passes out to Greenwood. No Caleb Ledoux in this ball game. Pull up jumper, almost banked in by Greenwood for three. Coming up with the board, Thibodeau. Passes far sideline, Zeno gets it up the floor to Burzot. Burzot, middle of the paint kicks out, but Robinson nowhere near in shooting range will now slow the privateers up. It looks like we'll keep seeing this 2-3 zone, and Uno's going to have to either penetrate or shoot against it. Zeno dribbling into a comfort zone for a jumper that misses everything from 17. 
picked up off the floor by Jacob Ledoux. Ledoux, front court, feeding Wilson. Wilson outside, far side, in the hands of Greenwood. Greenwood wants a clear out, gets a switch, but recovering down there, Pro against Wilson. Elbow jumper, Hill, no good from the right side. Rebound, Big Mac. And Robinson will walk it into the front court. Nine minutes to go first half. UNO down by six. Robinson, near side, Zeno. Zeno on the bounce. Far side, Robinson, can't shoot. Far corner, Burzot passes it out. Middle of the paint, Zeno feeding Quo. Jump hook, good from about 10. So because you move the ball well and quickly around the arc on both sides, the middle opened up in that zone. That's how it happened. Privateers within four. Ledoux, crossover dribble, gets by Robinson, passes down low, off the hands of Hill, couldn't handle it. Robinson recovers. Outlet to Zeno. Zeno into the lane. Zeno reverse layup. Won't go. Laku taps the rebound forward to Greenwood. Outlet, Wilson, near side on the dribble against Thibodeau, across the lane, has to give it up. And we have a foul called, actually a travel called, on Jacob Ledoux trying to argue his case before he looked to put the ball on the floor. He moved his pivot. The biggest size-wise, especially round and wide in the ball game for the Cowboys. 6'8", 260 pound junior DeMarco Owens. Troy Green in the ball game to run the point, replacing Zeno and Green has it now after the inbounds. Dribbling middle of the floor, sizing up the zone. Near side in the hands of Burzot. Backside lob, missed the layup by Thibodeau, who's the last to touch as it goes out of bounds. Tibbs needs to finish that with authority. Instead, tried finesse and blew it. Timeout on the court, 7.58. The Primeteers have seen a whole lot of zones so far. Thibodeau, Poe, Robinson, Green, and Burzot on the floor. Hugo Chuku with eight points early on to lead them. McCurr Poe's four or five from the floor on senior day has eight to lead the Privateers. Jacob Ledoux with it far side. And I guess we're not going to see Caleb Ledoux. Maybe we will. Looking for him on the bench. Wonder what's going on. Greenwood dribbling near side. 11 to shoot. Gives it up to the very big man, Owen, who misses everything over the basket on a baseline jumper into the hands of Green. Green front court with it to Robinson trailing. Right wing, jumper Thibodeau missing everything. And just an ugly, terrible shot. Traven tried to pick the pocket on a behind-the-back pass by Ledoux. Now he has it past two privateers, feeding Owens, and Troy Green says, no, you're not getting a layup much like he did last time out with a hard foul, but not dirty. Green's going to make the big man Owens earn it at the stripe. First foul on Troy. Fourth UNO team foul. Owens on the year, 15 of 28 from the foul line. About an even proposition. That hit front and back of the rim, but fell off on the first try. He is a very big man. Looks like he should be on the gridiron and not the hardwood. Second free throw line drive rattles out. Rebound Thibodeau. Walking it up, Robinson against some pressure from Harvey. Now Thibodeau trying to drive on Hugo Chuku. Muscles it up, won't go. Now Thibodeau gets away with going over the back, keeps it alive on the floor. Into the hands of Burzot as Thibodeau went chest down to keep that one going for UNO and prevent the run the other way. Green with it, crossover dribble, pulls up, kicks to Burzot near corner. Burzot back to Green, open for three, instead will drive. Will shoot a floater in the lane, won't go. Tap, follow, good, McCurpo. Big Mac with a big first half. His fourth rebound, and now 10 points. UNO within one. The Privateers have gone on a nice little run here. Baseline with it, Ledoux loses control of it, went into the hands of Quo, but he was standing on the baseline. Scott Plaisance checking in for the Privateers. We're on an 8-3 run, answering an 8-0 McNeese run. 6.30 to go in the half. Plaisance in for Thibodeau. Harvey looking to inbound. You go Chuku, Owens, Greenwood, and Jacob Ledoux, the other Cowboys on the floor. You go Chuku takes the inbounds, passes it to Greenwood. Greenwood looking, gives it up to Ledoux, near corner. Dribbles out, now feeds the post. Tigo Chuku backing down on the low block against Quo, nowhere to go and has to pass it out. 
Now he'll come to set a screen outside for Greenwood. No, he bails, 11 to shoot. I think Greenwood wants space to go one-on-one -on -one against Burzot. He does, shoots one high off the glass, won't go on the runner. Plaisance had the rebound and he's fouled. The whistle came from the opposite side of the court as Hugo Chuka was mugging Scotty Plaisance. And it's called for his first foul. Team foul number three on McNeese. Six minutes and counting now. As Burzot will walk it into the front court, UNO can tie or take the lead here. Biggest lead for the Privateers has only been two. McNeese at one point was up nine. Short corner right, face up, catch and shoot, and Big Mac stays high. Six of seven, 12 points. Feed the senior on senior day. Privateers tie it at 23. Nearing the five and a half minute mark. Green looking to go for a steal, didn't come up with it, and then dump pounds, compounds the error. As they say, Pro actually fouled him from the front, but could have called Green from behind. As Harvey was settling for a low percentage floater from about 13 feet away. Now Big Mac has second personal, so you gotta watch that. You don't want to take him out of the game, but you don't want him to get three fouls in the opening 20 minutes either. Free throw missed by Harvey, who is a good shooter, so naturally pretty good from the monitor. Doesn't appear to be so. And confirming the foul is on number 22, McCurr Well, So that'll bring Traven Thibodeau to the scorer's table to sub his senior front court mate. Second free throw is made by Harvey. McNeese retakes the lead, 24-23. Thibodeau is just two for eight in this game, only scored five points last time out. Bad time to get into a slump as you're fighting for position atop the conference. Front court with it, Robinson, far side, plays on. Goes it up at the elbow for a turnaround jumper that's short by Burzot. Rebound Wilson. Wilson now with seven boards and a half. No points, but doing his job. Harvey draws a hand check foul as Burzot tried to get in on him on the dribble, got caught being handsy. Second foul on Lamont with 5.12 to go in the half. And the starting freshman guard will come out and we'll see Damian Rosser check in. Gives UNO much more length and versatility defensively, but you lose a little bit of shooting. Well, you lose a lot of shooting. Harvey lobbing it way into the backcourt and Greenwood having to tap it to space to keep it away from the aforementioned Rosser. He's a heck of a defensive weapon locking in here late in the season. Now Hill around Thibodeau to the bucket layup. Missed. UNO lucky as Thibodeau's defensive posture there terrible. Privateers with it instead with a chance to retake an advantage here inside the five-minute mark. Left wing Thibodeau, left elbow pass to Rosser. Rosser feeding mid post to right to Green. Green backing down on Ledoux, double team passing back out to Rosser. Eight on the shot clock between the rings with it, Robinson. Robinson will pull up for a bomb off back iron. Rebound in the hands of the Cowboys and Harvey. Far sideline with it, Ledoux to the bucket. Layup too strong. Wilson rebound. Follow is short of the rim, but he'll go to the line for a pair of free throws. Wilson just has that knack. Some guys are good offensive rebounders. Some are good on the defensive glass. Wilson's just a rebound. As Rosser's called for his first foul. UNO now with 17 fouls, but Wilson was shooting, even though McNeese is now in the bonus with 4.24 to go. Two freebies coming the way of the junior. First one off back iron, no good. Wilson just 60% from the line coming in. But 11 points per game on average and 10 and a half rebounds, by far the best in the league. Second free throw good. He's got eight here, so he's about to up that average the way the night's going. 25-23, McNeese. Wilson's first point. But again, eight boards. Doing work. Rosser between the rings around the screen from Thibodeau. Backs out on the dribble far side. Stepping out. Robinson. Robinson really should have kept penetrating. Didn't see the C opening up for him. Thibodeau with it. Left of the lane. Stops in the baseline. Can't shoot over Wilson. But finds Rosser. Cutting to the hole right down the middle. Lays it up at the rim. He can finish in traffic. Can the freshman from McDonough, Georgia. UNO ties it at 25. Pretty even first half with some runs by both teams. 
Wilson trying to post up far side. Passes to Ledoux, who doesn't shoot the open three, drives instead and misses a runner, but comes up with the rebound because it was such a brick, it came right back to him off the glass. Doesn't realize that the shot clock was running down and then hits a bomb for three over Thibodeau. Thibodeau was there, and the only reason why McNeese leads this game is they've hit several lucky long shots. They're lucky. They're not good shots. They've just gone in. One was banked home by Harvey. They're up 28-25. UNO just needs to keep what they're doing and be more efficient offensively. 3-10 and counting. Privateer's not doing much. Shot clock down to 12. Far corner with it. Rosser trying to drive on Wilson. And is called for the offensive foul, I do believe, lowering the shoulder, which is such a cheap call to make. You're looking to call something like that. Hardly any contact at all. Roll your eyes. Ross Green, Robinson, and Deontay Champion back in, along with Thibodeau and Plaisance here. As the clock ticks inside three minutes to go, and walking into the front court is Jaron Greenwood. Greenwood looking down low for Wilson against Thibodeau. Thibodeau goes for the steal, had it for a moment. Now Wilson fighting for it, called for a travel. As Robinson came in to fight for a loose ball, and once Wilson had it in his hands, shuffled his feet. Thibodeau's being really active and trying to go for steals. That is a pure hit or miss philosophy. That time it was a hit, causing Wilson's second turnover. UNO down three with it in the front court. At the foul line with the catch, champion. We have a whistle down low. Plaisance and Hill getting into it, and Hill called for a hold. Only the fourth team foul on McNeese. As Hill's called for his first foul. UNO will have it with 20 to shoot, working again on the baseline near side with 2.35 to go before halftime. Champion to do the honors. A couple of guards coming to this side, not open. Now down low, plays on stunk. A little bit of distraction on the near side away from the ball, and the feed goes from Champion to Plaisance for a flush on the backside. Well executed. First bucket for Scotty. UNO within a point. Ledoux dribbling far sideline. Tries to go around Champion. Shoots a tough shot off the iron. Rebound for Champ. Handoff to Robinson, weaving through traffic in the backcourt. Stops top of the key. Now around the arc, near corner green. Green goes cross court to Robinson. Robinson back over to Green on this side. Behind the back, Green with the dribble, 10 to shoot for UNO. Spinning, scoop layup, gorgeous. Does it get any better than that, beating a pair of Cowboys? Troy Green showing that extreme talent he has in him. At 13 to lead UNO at Southeastern off the bench. First bucket here, UNO up by one. 29-28, clock ticking towards a minute 30. Ledoux caught down deep, runs over Green, no whistle. Kick to the corner, three missed by Harvey into the hands of Hill for a layup. Refused to call that charge and called the ticky-tack stuff on the ball handler roster on the other end. Saturday's in the south. 30-29 McNeese. Green feeding the baseline left to Thibodeau, back out to Green, step up, had a foot on the line, and it'll only count as a two, but it was a confident outside shot for Troy Green who scored a couple buckets in a row. UNO back up 31-30. Inside a minute to go opening half. Harvey into the front court with it. Green guarding him. Dribbling far side. Stepping out between the rings. Hill lobbed down low. Wilson layup missed. And Thibodeau who was beaten did enough to make it a difficult shot right below the glass. Came up with the board as well. His fourth. 35 seconds and counting. Plenty of time between shot and game clock for the Privateers. Robinson on the bounce, lobbing back door, flush for Thibodeau. And that gets the fans and Robinson and Thibodeau fired up. Biggest lead for UNO right now at 33-30. Shot clock off and McNeese will blow their use it or lose it timeout right now with 16 seconds exactly to go to talk things over. Cowboys down, Thibodeau getting much more in line, which you're used to seeing from him and what you need from him for UNO to win games. Harvey and Greenwood out there with Hugo Chuku, Ledoux, and Wilson. Inbounds to Greenwood, back to Harvey. 
Now Wilson with it. Excuse me, Greenwood, far away from the hoop. Eight seconds on the game clock. Harvey pulls up for a bomb from the parking lot. Does he need a timeout for that? It's a brick, but Wilson comes up with the rebound, and he's fouled with 2.6 to go. That's their offense. Throw up prayers, and if they don't go in, Hope Wilson comes up with the rebound. He gets his eighth, and will shoot two free throws. It looked like Thibodeau, the man who fouled him. Wilson, one of two at the line, now two of three. And you privateers will call timeout. Same scenario, use it or lose it, with 2.6 left before Wilson's second foul shot. Turner, by the way, in Conway. Can Nichols pull another one out of the fire? They're down one with a minute 23 left. Everybody in the league would love to see the Bears pull that one off. Second free throw, Wilson, good. One point UNO lead. Champion will look to inbound. Pressure in the backcourt, a 2-2-1 two, two, zone look, and it's nearly thrown away. Greenwood deflects it out of bounds far side. Clock ran down to 1.9. This could help UNO, and now Thibodeau, who can throw the baseball pass as well as anyone, will look to trigger. Looking for the two-hand pass. Lobs up the floor. And I don't think anybody touched it, did they? It'll be UNO ball if McNeese did touch it. But the clock didn't run at all. If nobody touched it, it'll be McNeese's ball in the front court for them. Robinson and Champion, along with Thibodeau and Puo. So a change there as Champion replaces Zeno from the starting lineup. It's our starting five, presented by Take Five Oil Change, number one in customer satisfaction and loyalty. Visit them for the fastest oil change on the planet. First possession for UNO in the half. Champion with it far side. McNeese still in the 2-3 zone. Now Thibodeau drives and kicks. Open three. Robinson from the left wing. That's how you do it. Inside out. And UNO's lead grows to four. Biggest of the game. Laku passes off to Wilson. Perimeter right. Now facing up with the basketball. Puts it on the floor between the legs. Trying to drive on Puel, misses the runner, but gets the rebound. Of course he doesn't, Puel blocks him at the rim. Loose ball chased down by Lamont Burzak as Big Mac continues to play well. First block for him. Chance for UNO to maybe finally create a little breathing room here against the pesky explosive Cowboys. Left elbow catch for Puel. Back to Robinson, wide open again. Same result, the rainbow three. Two straight bombs from Robinson. UNO suddenly up seven. Bryson didn't score in the first half. Now Laku takes an ugly shot that doesn't go. But Wilson comes up with it. Has his shot blocked again. This time by Champion on the follow. And Burzot comes up with it. Not an instant replay, but it sounded like it. As Wilson continues to dominate the glass. But UNO with some breathing room. Now Thibodeau to the rim. Layup good. Caught at the left elbow. Steal attempt by Hugo Chuka was a bad idea. And Thibodeau now has nine points. And UNO has scored the first eight points of this half and causing Dave Simmons to call a timeout on the McNeese bench. At the 18-23 mark, that's the kind of reaction you want out of the locker room. Biggest lead for the Privateers at nine. Up by nine. 41 to 32 over McNeese, scoring the first eight points of the second half. The two Robinson threes and then the Thibodeau lay-in. McNeese looking to respond with the basketball after regrouping. We'll see. Greenwood with it. Hasn't been a factor so far, but he certainly can be. Now you go Chuku dribbling outside, trying to beat Puo on the bounce, cut off at the foul line. Pass out to Greenwood. Greenwood coming to the near side. Crossover dribble. Shoots an off-balance three. Won't fall. Rebound Thibodeau in the privateer. Good defense on the ball there from UNO. Now Thibodeau thought about pulling up for three passes off to Robinson, who's feeling it for three near side. Thibodeau knew it. And B-Rob, who hit seven threes against McNeese in the first matchup, has three in a row. Privateer's up a dozen. Harvey will try to get some of it back from three, won't fall. And a late whistle will go against who? UNO, of course. McCurr Poyle called for a push. Sure, whatever. Third personal on Mac, first foul of the half on either squad. And the continuing storyline of in street close, we can see Caleb Ledoux now. They're leading score, not playing in this game. 
And if you're UNO, that means you definitely have to take advantage with a W. Hugo Chuku spinning jumper off the iron. Pope can't catch it, but fortunately picked up off the floor by Thibodeau. Big Mac just let it slip right through his hands uncontested. Front court with a champion far side. Gives it up to Po with the right elbow. Has it slapped away. But a foul away from the ball saves a chippy the other way. But on who? Is it on Wilson? I think so. Wilson not involved in the play. Called for holding Thibodeau. What a break. When it's going your way, it's going your way. And it was for McNeese early stages of this game on some wild long shots. Now it's going UNO's way. Now an inbound to Thibodeau from the baseline. Spinning, can't shoot. Now lefty hook is gorgeous. He pivoted around 360 on the floor and said, I'm shooting this basketball middle of the paint. Thibodeau now in double figures. Lobbed to Wilson, knocked away from him and off his head out of bounds. UNO basketball. Lamont Verzot, smallest man on the floor, but read it with the quick hands and created the turnover. Now Burzot trying to attack quickly, at least for the moment. Slows it up at the center line. Far side with it in the half court. The champion, Quo, dribbles on the floor, looks to feed the post. Hugo Chuku called for a hold on the entry pass for Thibodeau. Thibodeau being more active and physical, drawing whistles against opposing bigs. He didn't do that against Southeastern. He needs to do that against good forwards in this league. After the inbound, you know with it. Robinson feeding Thibodeau down deep. Has to pass it out for a jumper. Burzot from 15 feet. Right side. And Thibodeau a couple times making the right decision, setting up a teammate as his assist totals climb. Greenwood misses a layup on the runner, but a follow good by Wilson, who signals, and now it's thrown away by UNO. Miscommunication champion, and Thibodeau has to foul as Ledoux was trying to get it to Greenwood. UNO had gotten their lead up to 14 right there, and then a miscommunication throwaway turnover on the inbound. That shouldn't happen, period, end of story. Second foul on Thibodeau. Team fouls now even at two. At least McNeese didn't get free throws or more out of it. But Wilson still owning the glass. Inbounds far corner. Ledoux now gives it up. High post to Wilson. Wilson doesn't want it now. Puts it in the hands of Ledoux again and comes to set a screen for him. UNO switches. Can Robinson handle Wilson if asked? No. It looks like Hugo Chuko is going to force one up and line drive miss. But Plo almost fumbles it away again. Robinson comes up with it. Give Mac credit, though. Good defense on Hugo Chuku, who was hot early. Now trying to force matters. 14-point privateer lead. As McNeese has only scored two in this half. Cutter Robinson down low, passes out. Open three, right wing. Thibodeau rattles it home. Bryson Robinson returns the favor from a while ago to set up the three. And the privateers are four for four from long range. Seven of seven from the floor in the half. And up 17 points. That's how you come out of the locker room at the break. We'll do around the screen, pull up 18 footer, good. But they can have long twos all day. Now Thibodeau ahead of the pack, layup, good to Plo on the feed. Plo ahead of everyone. And Thibodeau's assist numbers balloon. He's got 14 points and now eight. Officially seven dimes with six rebounds. He might have a triple-double the second of his career when this thing's over. Lob pass tipped away by Plo, intended for Hugo Chuko to Thibodeau. Give it up to Burzat, back to Thibodeau, layup won't fall. But Plo has it, hit from behind, can't hit the layup. High off the glass, but will go shoot two at the line. As the Privateers are out playing, everybody not named Wilson for the Cowboys. This is in trouble as the Privateers have hit four threes in the second half as well to lead by 17 and looking to add to that biggest advantage is McCurr Poirot. First free throws of the game. First one is good. Big Mac now with 15 points retaking the high score in the game from Thibodeau. The bigs didn't show up in Hammond. They've showed up today. It's Poirot looking to make it 30 from the two seniors and he does. McCurr Poirot upping that 64% free throw percentage as UNO leads by 19. Into the front court, Greenwood. Passing off Ledoux, just left wide open for three. What are you doing? In transition after a made free throw, you leave somebody wide open from long range. Ledoux now with 11. That's Jacob with his brother not playing today. 
Privateers still up 16, though. Now looking to drive in the paint. Champion has it stripped cleanly and going the other way. He's called for the foul to prevent the fast break. Champion was trying to be aggressive, looking for his first shot. Never got it there. Called for his first foul. Third UNO team foul, and Mike Zeno will come in, replacing Big Mac, giving him a breather. Huge game for McCurpois. Two away from a season and career high in scoring. Inbounds in the backcourt to Ledoux, and now Greenwood with it to run the point. Robinson defending in the front court now. Near side on the bounce, Greenwood. Looking to play two-man game, I thought, with Wilson, who's not getting himself open. Now Greenwood into the lane, draws the foul. Got a step on Bryson Robinson. The only guy left there was Champion, who was called for the reach. And Greenwood, realizing his team needs offense in a hurry, despite being one for six on the floor, gets himself a couple of freebies. And that's a good thing for McNeese. He's an 82% free throw shooter and gets there a bunch. First one up and in. Plays the most minutes for the Cowboys. Just a solid basketball player. And only a junior out of Houston, Texas. Second free throw rims out on him, though. Rare miss. Rebound Zeno. Privateers up 15. Outlet, Burzot, champion. Thought better of it that time. Not attacking with a pair of Cowboys in his way. Far sideline, Robinson. Give it up to Zeno. Wide open to Thibodeau. Reverse jam with the left hand. Great feed from Zeno, and Thibodeau matches Quo again. 16 points apiece for those two. And a fellow senior setting up the dunk in Zeno. Now Wilson around Zeno to the bucket. Misses an off-balance layup try. And the ball is out of bounds. Last touch by Wilson and the Cowboys. Wilson with the 12 boards is one for nine shooting. McNeese down to 29%. UNO 90% from the floor in the second half, up 57-40. 13-40 mark, champion with it, perimeter left. Passes back outside to Burzot. Zeno there with him. In short quarters takes the pass, goes right wing to Thibodeau. Thibodeau looking for a cutter, not there. Facing up right elbow, champion. Around the screen, Zeno will shoot, and it won't go. Champion tries to keep it alive, and does momentarily, but then with a foot on the baseline. Tried the behind-the-back save. McNeese to work it in, and UNO will pressure. 13-21 to go is an eternity, but 57-40, you got to seal the deal and hopefully do it comfortably if you're UNO. Ledoux, front court, between the rings. Pass as far side to Harvey. Harvey will shoot one over champion for three, won't go. Guess what, Wilson rebound. Wilson fouled by Thibodeau. And now Wilson and Thibodeau face-to-face. It looked like Wilson got into Thibodeau's face. It wasn't a dirty foul. It was mostly ball. Wilson hadn't left his feet yet. Creating a collection of five at the top. And then three with winning records after that, including UCA trying to make the trip to Katie. Wilson, two free throws coming first. Front of the rim finds its way over for him. What a duel that must have been in Conway. Jordan Howard, 19 of 19 at the line, 37 points. The Peters, 14 of 16, a lot of whistles. He had 30. Second free throw good, now UNO facing pressure up 57-42. 13-minute mark, Robinson double team, has Zeno at half court behind him. Now holding the ball, and we'll give it up to Burzat to set up for UNO here. Gives it back to Zeno just inside the arc top of the key. Baseline pass, layup, good. Bryson Robinson with an and one opportunity. UNO spacing. When they hit some outside shots, they can get things going down low. Not just the forwards, but guards who are strong enough to finish down there, including Robinson. You'd like to see do it more. Bryson's monster second half. All of his 11 points. And the best free throw shooter UNO has knocks it down. The sophomore from Mesquite, Texas, over 80% now on the season. 60 to 42, New Orleans. Greenwood against Burzah. 
Surprise Greenwood's not looking to attack. Instead, we'll do off a screen. Doesn't get the pass from the corner. And Burzot strips Greenwood. Outlet to Thibodeau. Flush with two hands. With authority. Set up by the steal from Burzot, who comes up with his second assist on the great pass down the floor. UNO up 20. 12-15 and counting. Short corner left, Wilson. Now dribbles back towards the middle of the floor. Passes off to Harvey. Ledoux open for three again. Missed that one. Rebound Labarius Hill. Who's fouled on the floor before the layup. So that means an inbound pass instead of two points for McNeese. As Thibodeau is called for the foul. And that's concerning because that is his fourth personal. Actually, it will go down as his... Announced as his third, but that's his fourth personal. They've got that wrong, the PA. And Thibodeau will come to the bench as Plaisance checks in. Champion slaps the inbounds pass right back to the feet of Greenwood. He'll have to try again. So with 12.07 left, Thibodeau sits with 18 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. Inbound to Harvey, who shot the 3 and rattled it home, but stepped out of bounds near side in front of his own bench. When it rains, it pours. The good luck early has evened out against the Cowboys here a couple times in the half. Inbounds and a tough catch by Champion from Robinson. Gets it to Burzot. Now outlet lob to Champion front court. Robinson had a chance for a three but thought better of it. When you're hot, sometimes you don't have to do a heat check when your other teammates are getting good looks as well. Robinson outside. Now Zeno. Four outside the arc. Feed down low for Plaisant's tip, but he comes up with it. The champion top of the key. Zeno will try a three that misses everything. Burzot recovers it, but needs to shoot one on the shot clock. Didn't get it to the rim. Hit the side of the glass, and it's a violation of 30 seconds by UNL. Mike Zeno should really not <laughs> shoot from that far. For those who help themselves, UNO is going to help themselves. It looks like today up 20 with 11.34 to go, but they're going to have to help themselves with three more wins if they want any shot at a double bye or conference championship. They're not getting it from other places as SFA and Nichols won again today. McNeese with the basketball in the front court. Ledoux with Troy Green harassing him. Ledoux gets whacked across the face. You know, Green did a good job of getting his hands on the ball when Ledoux left his feet inside the arc left, but then swung the arm down. A little over aggressive there for the East St. John and Belief Prep product. And did I just hear they called the foul on Plaisance? What planet am I on? That can't be right. Okay. Free throw by Ledoux up and good. Yeah, the, the foul assessed to Plaisance is second personal. Ledoux makes the first free throw. Okay. Second Ledoux free throw also good. 62-44. Ledoux having a good game. 13 points. Now thrown by... <laughs> Troy Green tried to throw it right to Greenwood, but he couldn't handle it at point-blank range, and UNO lucky to still have the rock nearing the 11-minute mark, up 18. Near side, Damian Rosser back in, left elbow, plays on. Speeds inside, muscling his way to the bucket, but then having it blocked to Zeno. Hill swiped it right out of his hands. Now Greenwood pass Robinson, lay it up and in. And UNO can get themselves in trouble with a hurry with sloppy ball handling and losing the edge as Greenwood there Slap the inbounds pass away from Robinson. Right underneath the glass. Bad place to inbound it. UNO can't get lazy here, but you've got two freshmen and a sophomore as the guards on the floor. Quick ball movement. Plays on to Green looking to attack Hill. Passes to Zeno. Zeno is fouled at the rim and will shoot two. Hugo Chuku can't believe it. Thought he got a lot of ball, but called with the body. Nothing wrong with an aggressive press break passing through it. To go to the rim, though. UNO did that there. Hugo Chuku becomes the first McNeese Cowboy with four personal fouls, joining Traven Thibodeau for UNO. Zeno at the line, first free throw good. Mike's shooting percentage this year continues to plummet. He's 0 for 6. But that's why you'd like to see him attack the rim and not settle for jumpers. He's a much better free throw shooter, and he's 2 for 3 today. Brings you a lot physically at both ends. You'd love to have him out there. Second free throw 
hung on the rim, bounced three times, fell off. McNeese with it. One hand pass, Greenwood dunked baseline, Laku. And this is a sloppy UNO lineup without the two senior bigs on the floor defensively. Now the other way, Zeno feeding plays on, fumbled the catch, reverse layup won't go, but he's fouled. If he catches the ball cleanly, it's an easy layup. Seems to plague big men on this team, not named Trayvon Thibodeau. Catching good passes at times. But Plaisance with four rebounds and two blocks will look for his first free throw of the game and knocks it down. Scotty now 12 of 17 from the line on the season. Only played three minutes at Southeastern. As the first half was very physical in the paint. Scott struggled with it. Second free throw good. But a year in the weight room here at UNO and to prepare to hopefully be a good starter as a senior should motivate him, the local product. Making them both put UNO back up 17. 10-19 in counter. Another one-handed pass Greenwood this time to Ledoux. Ledoux nearly throws it away, but Locke who's 6-8. Now a deflected pass gets to Hill and he scores over Plaisance. Zeno almost got that one. Quickly the other way, Rosser, scoop layup is deflected from him, and Zeno's hammered, picking it up and following in the lane. So Mike, getting the ball in places you want him to have it, no matter how he gets it. Laku, called for the personal, is first. Team fouls now even at seven. Both teams in the bonus. 10-01 mark. As Zeno will shoot two more free throws. First one up, good. Not wasting any time. Burzak coming to the scores table. No give Robinson a breather. Bryson with 12 points all in this half. Three assists, no turnovers, four rebounds. Pretty good. Three and double figures for UNO. Second foul shot, Zeno off target, and Plaisance called for the loose ball foul. Trying to go around and a little through Hugo Chuku. Easy whistle, and it's a bad one to take for his third personal foul, as Zeno will come out and Puel will come in because you allow them to walk the other way for one in the bonus on a play you just have to let go. Igo Chuku, one for one at the line, eight points to go along with four boards. Was recruited and looked at by UNO as he makes the first foul shot here to earn the back end for the bonus. A versatile player who can be long. It really helps you in a league like the Southland. Second foul shot finds a lot of the rim and glass and drops for him. UNO led by as many as 20. It's down to 15 with 10 minutes left. Tons of time. And Trayvon Thibodeau's been on the bench for nearly two minutes with four personals. You're a different team without him. And they'll keep pressuring us whenever they can, including here, Green double teamed in the corner, gives it up to Rosser who throws it across the timeline to Plaisance, and now UNO can slow it up and set up with Burzat Green, and here's Rosser to the rim, high layup off the glass. Set up nothing, Rosser sees a seam, and he knows how to finish. Now the other way, three ball good by Harvey. They'll run after Mix, and UNO's letting them. And the lead's down to 13. Outlet from a double team, Burzat, front court Green. Green trying to slow it up here. UNO doesn't start defending better. They're going to have to make a whole bunch of shots on this end. Plays on between the circles, backing out on the dribble. Passes off to Green. Green, far side, going down low to Big Mac. Big Mac against Locke, who one-on-one will shoot right over him, and it will rattle out. Good look, but doesn't go. Only the second miss in nine tries for Puel. Rebound Harvey, front court with it. Do they leave him open for three. This is awful. He misses, and Puel gets the rebound. But that's terrible, not recognizing shooters spotting up in transition. That'll bring Robinson back to the score. Stay at the foul line, back to the bucket, handoff back to Green from plays on, scoop layup won't go. And that's the kind of finish you don't want to see a 220-pound guard make. Go up strong. Now Greenwood in transition, three off back iron, tapped by Laku, but right into the hands of Scott Plaisance. UNO getting forced into a more up-and-down game, needing to slow down and execute in the half court. 8.25 to go, 68.55 New Orleans. Left elbow, Puo with it. Now with Wilson on it, giving it up to Burzot. Burzot down low to Rosser, around to Cowboy, and he'll finish again. 
over Laku this time. Damian Rosser, fearless and skilled with six points in the game. Transition three won't go for Harvey rebound, Big Mac. They're not wasting any time. They're jacking it up at first opportunity. Eighth rebound for McCurra Poil. They go along with his 16 points. Double-double in range. Mack outside, left elbow, catching and shooting. Plaisance, nothing but nylon. Those are shots Scott Plaisance needs to take and make. Now Ledoux past Green in transition. Throws it up off balance, off back iron. Guess who gets the rebound? Wilson, follow good over Poil. Wilson, 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 Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Ridiculous game on the glass. That's his 14th rebound, nine offensive boards. Now seven points, 72-57 New Orleans, 7.20 clock running. Front court, Burzot. Again, left elbow with Wilson on him. Plaisance looking down low, nothing there, throws it away. Miscommunication with Rosser, Greenwood down the floor, will dunk. That's the kind of thing you just hate to see. You give away turnovers and points. Greenwood now with 11. Tried to pick the pocket of Rosser. Rosser will try to make him pay and drive. Has a scoop layup blocked by Laku. You're baited into playing faster than you need to. Now Ledoux lobbing up, and it's affected by Burzot. Saved on the baseline by Greenwood. To Harvey. Throws a brick off the glass that's knocked out of bounds into the Cowboys bench by Laku. You're playing their style and not playing smart. 6.44 to go, UNL will have it after the break, up 72 to 59. With over 50 annual amateur athletic events, the Allstate Sugar Bowl's commitment to sports tourism and community development is bigger and better than ever. Log on today to AllstateSugarBowl.org, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter at Sugar Bowl NOLA. Against more backcourt pressure from McNeese, a 1 2 2 again with Hugo Chuku at the top. Burzot has no problem with it. Now, Robinson double team passes out of it, far sideline back to Rosser. UNO trying to slow down and play with poise. Thibodeau back on the floor with the four fouls here. We'll watch that. Right elbow, Plo looking down low for champion. Now goes into the corner, Robinson. Thibodeau with it. Needs to be careful looking to attack on the dribble. Shoots one up off the side of the rim. Loose ball goes to the hands of Plo. Passes out. Wide open far side. Robinson lines it up and it's off the back iron. Good look. Wouldn't fall for him. But Burzot picks the pocket of Greenwood. Tried to rush right down the center of the floor. Now Burzot dribbling down deep around to the far side. Comes out with it with 20 on the shot clock. Inside six minutes to go, 72-59 UNL. Left elbow, Thibodeau. Thibodeau down low, max open, pump fake, shoots, and will not finish. Dunk it, Big Mac. Rebound, Wilson. You've heard that a few times today. It's 15. Greenwood around the screen, UNO doubles him, pass off, Wilson shows shot, looks to drive baseline. Will score over Thibodeau, had to back off. Paterius Wilson now with a double-double, 11 points, 15 rebounds. UNO's lead down to 11. Front court, Thibodeau, far side champion to the rim, doesn't draw the whistle. Unbelievable. Wilson hammered him and Mark Schlesinger arms up, can't believe it. Other way, Harvey, pass tipped away, intended for Wilson by Thibodeau. Baseline out of bounds. They've got a chance to cut this thing back to single digits. By pressing, they've sped UNO up. And then a situation like that where you attack with space to do so, you don't get the whistle. Inbounds to Wilson, left side. Now trying to back in mid post. Pass out to Greenwood. Greenwood on the baseline around three privateers, throws it away. Threw it outside, Hugo Chuku. Don't blame him. He was spotting up on the ball, way out of reach. Defensive integrity in the half court. UNO's going to win those battles. Up and down, McNeese has the advantage. Greenwood checks out. We'll do out there with Harvey, Hill, Hugo Chuku, and Wilson. Against the pressure. Robinson across the center line gets it to Burzot. Burzot looking for the lob. Quo can't dunk, but the reverse layup will go and one. You get lucky that he didn't feel comfortable, did Mid Mac, to dunk it. And you get a chance for a three-point play out of it. Wow. Fourth assist for Burzot. And he likes this up and down game. Very much like his Landry Walker days. You open the floor, a little man can do damage as a passer. I believe this is his best game assist-wise with four. And McCurr Po now with 18 points, which is significant because on senior day, you'd love to play your best when you can. And Max certainly doing that. 
makes his free throw. He's two for two at the line. It's a career high. And it is. Surpassing his performance at Oakland's second game of the year, scoring-wise, McCurp well, 19 points and one rebound away from a double-double. He's also matched his career high here in rebounds with nine. One more would be beautiful. How about a few more? 75-61 UNO, 4.45 and counting. Token pressure from the privateers. Baku front court. Passes off the basketball to Kelvin Henry. Henry played a little bit in the first half, was not a factor. Draws a foul on Thibodeau way outside, and Traven Thibodeau fouls out. Goodness gracious, what are you doing 25 feet from the bench? Talking to members of the staff, but it is what it is. His day is done. So here's Henry. That was team foul number nine, so a one and one for him. One of three from the line on the year. Popped out and dropped back in for him. He's just matched his season total from free throws. Goodness gracious. Not the foul you want to give up. A six-foot redshirt freshman, a local product for them out of St. Louis Catholic. Second free throw, back iron miss, rebound champion. 75-62. Yuno's biggest lead was 20 here in the half. It's gotten down to as little as 11 since then. Against the pressure again, here's Rosser near side, doesn't attack, passes out. Still 15 to shoot, but McNeese still looking to trap and then match up man to man. Left elbow facing up 12. Quo to Robinson, catching, shooting three, missing everything. Out of bounds with 4.08 to go. That's forcing a shot. You love when Bryson's hitting from outside, he's hit four threes in the half. But you'd also like to see him look to dribble drive more. And your best free throw shooter doesn't get to the line in it. 75-62, here's Ledoux. Hits the runner. Gets by Burzot. Left of the lane. And it is down to 11 points to lead again. Rosser, front court, being harassed by a pair of Cowboys. Gives it up to Robinson. Thought about passing to Plo. Should have fed the post after the fake pass. Doesn't do it. Outside with it between the circles, dribbling champion, 13 on the shot clock. Robinson, he's got Plo down low. Why doesn't he feed him? Finally, champion does, and you get a reach-in foul on McNeese. It's, it was there the whole time. Plo had position for a good 8 to 10 seconds. When you finally put the ball in his hands, good things happen. Katarius Wilson called for a minute earlier. It is senior day, but just like a guard for McNeese, their leading scorer in this case is in street clothes. For UNO, Zeke Charles also in Zeke clo in street clothes with an undisclosed issue. Quo, first free throw good on the one and one. To extend UNO's lead back to a dozen. Another coming. Quo scores 20 points for the first time in his college career. In his second to last home game. Trying to make it 21, he does. Big Mac, perfect at the line. Other way with it quickly, Greenwood to Ledoux on the baseline, feeding Adrian Brown for the layup. That was so easy, it looked like a practice drill, 5 on 0. Cross court pass Rosser out of the trap to Burzot, lob near sideline, Robinson. UNO has, when they haven't forced it and passed through it, handled the pressure really well and figuring out how to slow down if the break isn't there. And to try to execute in the half court. You'd love to see the ball go in the hands of number 22. Has it in the lane. Spins and shoots from the foul line. Gets the friendly roll on the line drive. McCurr Poe. Career high in field goals now with nine in 12 tries. Five of five from the line. No, got out to the 62-42 advantage with 12 and a half minutes left. Cowboys getting to the rim. Creating off the dribble. And that's about being locked in. Lob inbounds from the baseline backcourt to Ledoux. He's on the run again, kicking to the corner. Wilson doesn't shoot. He's going to drive, though, on Puo and miss the soft floater. Rebound, Rosser. You went out with numbers three on two the other way on the feed to Robinson, middle of the floor to Puo, who doesn't attack. He realizes the clock is your friend. up 79-66, 2.37 and running. At the foul line, facing up, champion double team down low. The ball's kicked, no whistle. It comes as Mark Schlesinger was about to jump a little bit there on the official near side. Looks like he's getting tired down the stretch here, the official. Trying to make an excuse for nearly blowing that call. Shot clock reset to 20 with 2.32 left. Labarius Hill in, Adrian Brown out for McNeese. 
Robinson to trigger. Robinson goes short corner right to Quo. Quo against Wilson. Trap now passes out. Rosser, middle of the floor, goes half court pass to Burzot. Gives it up to Robinson. Eight on the shot clock back to Burzot. Seven to shoot. Here's Champion spinning and shooting from 18, and he scores. Nobody within five feet of him. In the end, you get a wide open jumper, and Deontay Champion with his first two at a good time. 15 point lead, nearly two minutes left. Floater inside, Greenwood, no good, rebound champion. Guys on the floor doing a good job of finishing this thing off, it appears. Burzat, cross court to Rosser, Rosser, down the middle of the floor, to the rim, and oh, he takes a hard, hard spill. Lands chest first, fortunately, as he's nearly clothesline, trying for a scoop layup. And we'll see if that draws a look at the video. Sign, we hope. You kind of learn a little bit more about that after it swells up. So a chance for Matthew Giles, who's 0 for 1 from the floor, to score on senior day, the senior from Braithway. Line drive, free throw. Ooh, and he makes a face. He knows he shot that one way too strong. One more coming. That looks much better. Nothing but net. Giles, now 5 of 10 from the line on the year. Playing in his 20th game in his senior season. Great story, a former manager. Walk on. Will end up being a coach somewhere, I guarantee it. And I bet you he's an awfully good one. Got jostled around as an undersized walk on. And earned his stripes with this program. Great person. A asset to UNO as a graduate. Who has the basketball after the inbounds. It was, of course, after the flagrant two shots in the ball. 82-66 UNO playing out the string. First touch for Bowl Reek, left elbow, one bounce dribble, pass off to Robinson. Robinson outside goes near corner. For a three, Tyron Harrison rims out on her. The board to Hill. Outlet pass, hung up there a while, but Ledoux comes up with it. Ahead to Wilson for a jam. With 124 left, timeout McNeese. Back within 14. And the Cowboys aren't going to go quietly. Missed. Now the only privateers, well, there's several to play every game, including Bryson Robinson and Troy Green. Damian Rosser, we worry about moving forward. And the three senior forwards. Inbound to Burzot. Again, passing out of the double team at the right time. And Robinson grabbed and fouled, crossing half court by Ledoux with 119 to go. You know in the double bonus the rest of the way. Troy Green looking to check in along with a walk-on who hopes to follow and then some in the footsteps of Matthew Giles, Charles Bohannon out of Austin, Texas. Free throw up and good for Bryson Robinson. And Bohannon will look to replace Robinson as Burzat sits in place of Green. Another good game for Lamont Burzat. And you love to see the assist numbers from him for the first time in a conference game. Bohannon in for Robinson as he makes them both. Bryson, assuming he's done for the day, finishing with 14 points, four boards, three assists, and a steal. Zero turnovers. UNO's turned it over just seven times today. That'll help you win, and that'll help you score 84 points. Front court with it. Here's Henry. Henry scoop layup. Went right by Troy Green. And Mark Susser just shakes his head as McNeese burns another timeout. Bad, bad defense by the privateers at these two. So it'll be Bohannon and Giles in the backcourt with Green to inbound. Harrison and Reek, opposite ends of half court. Inbounds to Bohannon. Bohannon double team passing to Giles in the open. Gives it up to Green in the front court, who's fouled with 102 left. McNeese elongating this game as much as possible. And good time here for Troy Green, who's versatile enough and skilled enough to run a team to help try to salt the way of victory. First free throw on this trip, good for Green. Now 69% from the line on the season. One more coming. Second one, even better than the first. 86-70. Green now with six points off the bench. 
Henry the other way again in a hurry, draws a foul. Took them four seconds flat to, for an end of the bench guy to go 94 feet and get himself to the line. And again, Green annihilated on the bounce. Head shaker and scratcher. First free throw here for Henry rattles in. Now one, or excuse me, two for three at the line. Will look for his fifth point. Gets it. 86-72, UNF. Green to work it in. Puts it in the hands of Giles, who has it slip out of his hands on the floor. Loose balls out of bounds. Last touch by McNeese on the baseline. Near the corner. Miles Hutchinson, a seldom used six-foot freshman. Cause of the strip there. Also defending in this spot and running the baseline is green and not realizing he can't do it. And that's the turnover they wanted. Again, a freshman learning a lesson. Needs an explanation. Can't run the baseline if it isn't after a made bucket. Inbound to Hill. Giving it up to Hutchinson. Hutchinson step back off the dribble three. Misses. Rebound Hill. Hill loses it on the floor to Harrison. Outlet to Giles. Giles. Layup, good, scooping it up and in. Matthew Giles. Scoring. Now has four points. Pull up jumper the other way, Henry, good. Doesn't play much, but Henry enjoying his run here. Two for two from the floor, seven points. Privateers up 88-74. Giles double team throws it away. Henry stole it, now throws it back to Giles. Off balance, and Matthew is fouled with 27.9 to go. I, I understand extending the game, but this is ridiculous. Let's go home. The foul going on Richard Laku, his second personal. And Giles will look to add to his point total. For the lefty, takes his time, flips it up and in. Giles having a conversation with teammates from the bench too about this maybe some razzing from his fellow seniors Poirot and Thibodeau enjoying the time off down the stretch second free throw good UNO has scored 90 points today in a conference game 24 seconds and counting Laku from the parking lot off the iron and over the glass UNO basketball with 20.9 to go 27 assists on 33 made field goals Inbound to Giles. Three Cowboys on him, lobs up to Bohannon. Bohannon passes cross court to Harrison. Shot clock off. UNO wants to run the clock out, I do believe. Bohannon thought about shooting, but knows that is not kosher. <laughs> we'll dribble it out. And UNO will win their 11th conference game and improve to 14 and 12 overall, sweeping McNeese for the second straight season. Final score 90 to 74. Privateers over Cowboys as UNO able to